Welcome back to another brand new video. In this video, we are going to learn all about color grading inside CapCut. CapCut is a powerful tool to color grade your videos. Same like DaVinci Resolve and Premiere Pro, you can get awesome results inside CapCut. So we will learn from basic to advanced level color grading inside CapCut. So let's dive in. So to color grade, we need to understand the basic color psychology first. Here is a video and we will fix the colors in this video. So don't skip any part of this video because you will learn a lot. First, by staying on your video, you need to go to adjustment and here we need to understand a bit of HSL and then basic and then curves and then color wheel. So in HSL section, you need to see that how it works. There are basic colors like there is red, there is orange and then yellow then green then turquoise and then blue and then pink all these colors you can see in a sequence so here we have to understand that once we are on the red color and if we increase the hue and saturation and brightness then what will happen here is one thing very much important once you are on red color and if you increase the hue then it will be more orange color look if i change it goes to more orange what the saturation will do it will make the color more vibrant or more dull like this one if i slide this one to the zero it will make the color more dull and if i increase it will increase the reddish color it will make it more vibrant and brightness is quite clear from the name if i make it more brighter the brighter part will look more brighter and the darker part will go more darker now here we need to understand that this is orange color and this is a sequence from color one to color eight by staying on orange color if i decrease the hue it will move more towards the red color and if i increase it will move towards the yellow color and similar will be the situation with saturation if i increase like this one you see the difference here and if i increase the saturation it will be more vibrant but yellow color because it will increase towards the yellow color and if i decrease and make it more vibrant it will be inclined towards the red color but more vibrant and more warm and instead of just going more dull so this is the color psychology it can be carried out for the yellow color as well if you are on the yellow color if you increase it it will go more greenish and if you decrease it it will move toward more yellow color here so this is the sequence you have to follow and i hope you understood up to this stage similar technique will be followed towards all these colors let's say i'm on the green and if i increase the green it will increase towards turquoise and if i decrease it will decrease towards more yellowish color i can fix vibrance and the dull color side here and in the meantime i can increase or decrease the brightness all right to fix it first we need to go to basic color section and here we need to understand the temp hue saturation brightness contrast highlight shadows and illumination and the other features what is temp once you increase the temp it will make your video more warmer and if you decrease it will bring you to the more dull color or more this one bluish look if i decrease the temp here it will make the video more just like bluish and if i increase it will bring my video to more like warm colors let's say i increase a little bit more warmer and then i make it more vibrant and i just saturate this one and once i just increase it will towards the reddish color you can see that this you know table color is also increasing so this one can be fixed later as well what is brightness contrast highlight and shadow brightness itself is just like make it way more brighter it will be brighter if you make it way more darker it will be darker so the bright color will pop up and they will go more brighter and if i decrease the bright color the overall brightness will decrease and what is contrast contrast basically does something like the colors are dull or they are more vibrant you know there are contrast colors like black and white and this kind of colors red and yellow they are contrast colors so what will it do if i increase the colors in contrast will pop and if i decrease they will bring more shadow in terms of you know contrast they will bring more shadows 
and they will fade here they will fade and here they will you know become more visible so i can increase the contrast a little bit and here is important part of highlights and shadows what is highlight okay the brighter part of your videos will become more brighter if you increase the highlights and if you decrease the brighter part of your videos will become darker okay i increase and if you see that these are the brighter part of your video and they will increase more brightness and if i go all the way up it will be bright video you know the brighter part will become more brighter let's say like this is one here in comparison to highlights there are shadows shadows are opposite of highlights the darker parts will become more darker if you bring them here but the darker parts will become more brighter if you increase them these are the shadows let's say this is the area with more shadows and if i increase you see that the darker parts are now more brighter and i can you know just bring it here or maybe like this one more cinematic look like this one i can make it more darker these are shadows if you just increase the shadows it's the name is already there so if you increase the shadows they will be more brighter if you decrease them they will be more darker but what is illumination illumination is not about the highlights shadows or brighter parts or darker parts these are the overall colors of your video let's say i increase and all the colors will increase if i decrease all the colors will decrease it doesn't matter you are decreasing the shadows or highlights it will decrease the overall colors in your video and if you increase it will increase the overall colors of your video so let's say it's here now what is sharpen particle fade and vignette all right so sharpen will you know increase more details in your video if i just bring the sharpen there you can see this video is more detailed now and if i decrease you will see less details in a video increase a little bit then you can see more details and if i increase all the way you can see that every part is you know separated from the different colors and all the parts are more sharpened now the edges are more sharpened it happens when you increase the sharpness on the edges of somewhere uh, maybe you are wearing some sunglasses then you can do for the sharpen uh, you can choose from that part what particle does you see this area if i increase then these particles will you know appear here and it will be like that i'm not gonna increase the particles here and what is vignette or i don't know i pronounce it okay or not but you decrease it will you know decrease this one and make the edges brighter and if you increase it will make the edges a little bit darker but like this okay like this so we don't need this one at this stage now let's come to hsl and fix these colors as you know that watermelon this part should be more reddish so i'm on red color and if i make it like a little bit you know increase this one and i see what happens and if i decrease what happens it doesn't look real right because if i increase it goes to more yellowish color here i described earlier so i can you know just make it little bit here a little one like this and here i can increase the saturation up to more reddish color if you see this one like this like this and i can increase the brightness then it will look ugly not more realistic so i can decrease this one a little bit brightness and here as well and if i decrease now it looks like more orange or some other color so i can leave it up to this place maybe it looks okay now this is yellow color and if i in decrease this one more reddish it will look like more reddish and it's also gonna change this area as you can see like this and if i increase it will bring this color more yellowish this is orange color so the orange watermelon is not orange so i can you know see this orange color as well here so i can make it you know a little bit highlight here like this one and now this is the yellow part so if i bring yellow to the green you will see the reasonable difference there look because watermelon is more greenish so i can increase this one to green part and here i can increase the saturation a little bit and the brightness a little bit so you see if i just bring this one all the way down it's like that and now i can make it like this color this part you can see if i make it more greenish it will look like more greenish like this and increase this one a little bit it should look like more realistic and in the later on i can just you now play with this red color as well like this one 
is here it looks more natural okay so the green parts are done now and i can also play with this green part and if i increase this one you see that the color changes or not so it's already more like greenish and i can increase a little bit not too much so that it should look more realistic here's the turquoise color and if i bring this one you will see that this color changes the sea area here like the water color and if i bring all the way down it doesn't look like realistic okay the watermelon is popping up but the background color do, doesn't look so good so i can maybe increase a little bit as you can see if i increase on 100 percent it doesn't look so good but i can you know make it like up to this place and now i can play with this one saturation as you see i move this one it makes dull color and i move this one here it makes it more vibrant if i decrease the brightness then it makes it more visible more vibrant and more cinematic and this pops up like separate from this one and this also changes the color here increase a little bit this one now i'm on blue color and if i decrease the blue color it will be more unrealistic and if i increase a little bit not the way more you know 100 percent maybe a little bit and make it more vibrant and maybe i can you know bring it down like this and look depends that what kind of video you have so you can see the colors changing here by playing these colors this color is not available so it doesn't impact a lot we can you know just leave this color and this one as well we don't have this color here it doesn't impact a lot so here is the after and before video well i'm pretty sure you learned a lot today about the color grading in capcut liking this video is completely free i'll see you next time bye